Today we are going to discuss the upcoming events in Diablo Immortal that you won't want to miss. Firstly, I want to remind you about Challenge Rifts, especially if you are aiming for server first clears. Beginning on February 19th, the upper limits of Challenge Rift floors will be raised from 500 to 550. Additionally, the difficulty of monsters on floors between 481 and 500 will be reduced. This adjustment will provide opportunities for players to complete new levels for the first time. Naturally, you will need a high combat rating and resonance to compete with others. Also, aim to log in right after the daily reset to gain an edge over other players. With enough combat rating, you might achieve server-first completions on some levels even with just 3000 resonance, which necessitates maxed out gear levels, warband points, and high stat legendary and green items. Now let's discuss one of the most anticipated events in Diablo Immortal, Mirrored Jewels. From February 9th to February 13th, you can activate Mirrored Jewels before starting an Elder Rift run. During this run, every legendary gem you receive as a reward will be accompanied by an additional random legendary gem of the same type and quality. Ensure to activate Mirrored Jewels on a run with 10 legendary crests to maximize your chances. I hope they bring back this event at least once a month in the future. Mirrored Jewels isn't the only event on February 9th. The Fractured Plane, a favorite event in the community, is also returning on this date. Additionally, the Conqueror PvP event will be available for competition. This is one of the free-to-play friendly PvP events, so don't forget to try it out. Speaking of PvP events, remember that on February 16th Wild Brawl will be playable? I personally enjoy this event, and I'm sure most of you do too, so don't miss it. Furthermore, new modifiers have been added to the Conqueror, Fractured Plane and Wild Brawl for their durations. You can find all of the modifiers in the description of this video. Two random modifiers from that list will be in effect for each match, ensuring that all players in the match experience the same conditions. Lastly, let me remind you that on February 15th, the Season 23 Battle Pass will be available. Let me know which event you are looking forward to the most in the comment section. Thanks for listening and take care.